The Big Something by Patricia Riley Giff, illustrated by Diane Palmisciano. Bad news. I trolled across the lawn. Someone was calling me. Jilly! I tried to stop. Oof! I slid into a hole. It was Fiercely's hole. He was digging straight down to China. That dog! You're a mess, Jim said. I brushed the dirt off my knees to clean them up. Jim leaned over. I have news, he said. Something odd is happening next door. We crawled over to the hole in the fence. We had to see. Fiercely stayed behind. We sneaked past the apple tree. Fiercely was deep in his hole, halfway to China. We saw hammers and saws and lots of tools and men shouting. They were building a big red something. Look at that weird lady, Jim said. She wore a pointy hat. She was laughing. Cackle, cackle, cackle. I think she's a witch, I said. Let's get out of here. I could just see Fiercely's skinny tail. It poked up out of the hole to China. Fiercely, I yelled. Fiercely didn't listen. That dog never listened to me. Run like the wind, I told Jim, and that's what we did, all the way to the kitchen. From the window. Nana was cooking eggs. They were a little brown around the edges. Jim and I liked them that way. Fiercely did too. But where was Fiercely? I couldn't see him anymore. Maybe he had reached China. I hoped he'd be home for supper. We ran upstairs to the window for a better look at the big red something. It might be a prison, Jim said. A prison for two kids playing next door and a dog who is somewhere in China. We were scared. The woman in the witch hat was up on a ladder. She was painting ice cream cones and gumdrops on the wall. Then I knew. It's a Hansel and Gretel house, I said. She wants to eat us for supper. Yow, Jim yelled. Suddenly, I saw fiercely. He wasn't digging a hole to China after all. He had dug a hole under the fence. He was heading straight for the witch. Oh no, poor Fiercely. What if he never got out? He was my best friend. Every night he licked me good night. Then we'd curl up together in case there were lobsters under the bed. We have to save Fiercely, I told Jim. But how, Jim asked. Saving Fiercely. We need to look scary, I said. Even scarier than a witch. This doesn't sound like much fun, said Jim. We dashed out to Pop's shed. Inside, it had wrenches and screwdrivers and lots of nails. It had a teeny gray spider taking a walk and a bunch of gummy bears stuck to the floor. Jim found Nana's beekeeping hat. He plunked it over his head. It had lots of net. It had lots of cobwebs, too. Fiercely's old blanket was on the floor. I hung it over my whole self. No one could see me. I couldn't even see me. We unstuck the gummy bears and dusted them off. Gummy bears made you brave. They tasted good, too. We sneaked out of the shed. One step, two step, clunk. I conked my head on a big tree branch. It was a good thing. Fiercely had chewed holes in his blanket. I wiggled it around. We looked through the fence, but what did we see? Fiercely was on the other side. He was chewing up the witch's weeds. Get out of there, Fiercely, I whispered loudly. Fiercely didn't get out. He didn't know witches were worse than lobsters. But I knew what to do. I held up a gummy bear. Fiercely saw it. His tail flew up. 
He dived back into the hole and ran back to me. Fiercely was saved by a gummy bear. Wait, someone called after us. I chomped on a gummy bear. Jim chomped on one too. We had to be brave because the witch was heading our way. The Big Red Something Grr, I growled. Roar, shouted Jim. Fiercely didn't say anything. His teeth were stuck to a gummy bear. I crossed my fingers. I'm not afraid of witches or Hansel and Gretel houses, I said, and I like the scary lobsters that hide under my bed at night. The lady looked over the fence. You're braver than I am, Jilly, she said. I smiled. You're not a witch at all, I said. You're Mrs. Berry. Everyone knew Mrs. Miss Berry. Nana said she was the nicest teacher. Soon you'll come to this new school, Miss Berry said. We'll learn about real lobsters that live in the ocean. We'll read and make up stories about witches and Hansel and Gretel houses. We left Fiercely's blanket and Nana's beekeeping hat on the grass. Miss Berry left her painting hat on the fence. She opened the gate and we ran through. May I help paint? I asked. Me too, Jim said. We had one more gummy bear left, a red one. We gave it to Miss Berry. She liked gummy bears too. We were sure of it. And we were sure we would love going to the big red schoolhouse. Woof! Fiercely agreed. Please click the subscribe button if you would like to be kept up to date with new video posts. Thank you.